Hey guys, welcome back to Weld.com. So as we said in Monday's video, we're moving some stuff around in the shop to make way for some new equipment. So in the meantime, we wanted to make sure we put out some content for you guys so you're not wondering what's going on. Uh, so we're just going to talk about some of the tools today that we get the uh, a lot of comments on. So we're going to tell you what they are, what they can do, and where to get them. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, first item is the Mark All Pro. So full disclosure on this episode, this isn't a sponsored episode. We're not receiving anything for doing this episode. We're just trying to answer some of the questions you guys ask most often about the stuff that we're using. So the Mark All Pro, um, I like this because it's mechanical pencil. So you click on it, uh, you know, it, it comes out. You can you have room to store another uh, piece of lead in there. This is actually a silver streak insert for this, and then you can sharpen it. It's got a little sharpener built into the back. The cool thing I like about this is I can do really fine lines with it, so it's very precise. And then I, I can also do through holes. So if you have a piece of material, you have to transfer a mark. Um, you can actually go right on the inside and make your mark. So, and then like I said before, it does have a very thin, precise line. Uh, you can actually get this on Amazon. I'll have the camera guy put a link in the description. Uh, you can just click on that, they're over there. Make sure when you buy one, I'd go ahead and get the refills. All right, so the next items that I have here are just thin soapstone holders. Okay, so this is, uh, it's not like your typical soapstone, which is like a quarter inch. These are very thin. It's like 1 16th inch soapstone. Um, and then this one here is very similar to the Silver Streak. I don't even remember. I think I got these at uh, my local weld supply shop. So they don't sell these on the shelf. You're going to have to go in there. I had to do a special order on them, but they're actually pretty cool. So real thin soapstone. This one you can actually switch out with the Silver Streak or the Red Rider version. So they, they have a, another one that's red, that's a flat piece, but these are good for, you know, very precise lines and marking, uh, things like that. I, I really like these. These are kind of my go-to marking instruments when I'm using soapstone. All right, next up is the deferred wire brush. You'll notice that this stuff comes to a taper, so it's pointed at the end. Works really good for fillet and groove welds because you can get right up in there. Uh, into the area and clean that, you know, with a lot of the brushes that are, just have a square head on them, it's hard to get down in the crevices. You end up turning it on its side to try to get in there and then the brushes wear down unevenly. The uh, the ends get all tangled up. So this is just a very, pretty cool design. Uh, very effective for cleaning out corners. You can get these um, stainless, you can get them regular carbon steel. Uh, I highly recommend them. They're just a great brush all around and they pretty much, they keep that point uh, for a long time. You can get this on uh, Amazon as well. Have the camera guy throw a link in the description. Okay, so next up is, you guys know we like to use Outlaw Welding Hoods. They make some awesome stuff. You can get these on Outlaw Leather. Uh, you can go to their website, hit them up on Instagram, give them a follow. Uh, they should have a, they have a link in their bio where to pick these hoods up. They're awesome. Uh, I own two of them, and I recently purchased the, the pancake hood, so I'm looking to give that a try. But everybody asked, you know, hey, you know, I want to use one of those Outlaw Hoods but I like the auto darkening feature. So what I've done is I picked up these Arc One lenses. You can get these on Amazon as well. This is a single, it's drop-in. They make one in high def, I don't have that one yet. And then um, you can get them in different shades. So this one's actually a shade 10, and it's just a single drop-in, and it's auto darkening. So these things are great because the flip up, now I've got, you know, I can do all my grinding and cutting, flip it back down, I'm ready to weld. I also have it in this hood as well. Yeah. So I put the Arc 1 in, in both of those hoods, and then once I get the pancake, I'll purchase a, uh, a third. I also recommend that this is the headgear that comes in. It's a regular fiber metal uh, ratchet-type attachment. I prefer the elastic band, so you can get these. Um, pretty sure I got this through my local welding distributor, but it's basically just a neoprene headband, and what I did is I figured out exactly where it's comfortable on my head, and then I put electrical tape on the ends because it actually, it starts slipping out of there. So that's kind of one of the remedies I came up with to do that. I definitely prefer this, this type of headband over the ratcheting style. It's just a lot faster and easier, simpler to use. Up next, I get a lot of comments about my welder's cap. Some people refer to it as a, a winter hat. I don't, they must not be welders. Uh, but this is a welder's cap. And this one was actually made by Blue Collar Caps on Instagram, Janie. Uh, so shout out to them. She actually made this from my old camouflage fatigues that I wore while I was in Iraq. Um, I sent them to her and she was able to make these two caps out of it. So really cool. Craftsmanship's great. 
Uh, the stitching's awesome. I love these caps. These are always my go-to caps. They're very comfortable. You have to send her the exact dimensions. She'll kind of walk you through exactly how to take the dimensions so that you have a perfect fit every time. These are awesome caps. Since I started wearing these, I don't wear anything else. And they're great because they're custom and they're durable. I've had these for quite a while now and um, no complaints. So we always get the question, hey, what kind of camera do you guys use to catch those awesome arc shots? This is it. So for all the high, you know, the, uh, the high definition footage that we get for all the arc shots, this is the camera we're using. The camera guy knows how to use it. I have no idea what I'm doing with this thing. But that's what's, that's what this what is in the box. Um, it's, this one's the, uh, the color version, so it's full color. You guys have seen when we did the, uh, the modes of metal transfer video. This is the actual camera that we used. It's right up in here. I don't want to break anything. The camera guy will kill me. Nope, that's not even the camera. See, I told you I don't know what I'm doing. It's upside down. See, he's got me covered. Good job, camera guy. So this is the actual camera. This little protective housing that goes over top of it. That's the lens. So if you guys want to start making your own videos, you just have to invest in one of these guys, then you have the same arc shots. Definitely not going to get it on your Samsung or iPhone. I'm going to put this away before I break something. All right, so here we have the Solutions Torch. So we actually use this in the video. Jeff Ray down with Hefner Performance. He uses this a lot. Uh, we used it in the uh, aluminum intercooler video, so check that out if you haven't seen that already. But this thing's actually pretty cool. So it's a 17 FV, has a flex head, has the valve here, and then you can unscrew this top portion here, and you can put all kinds of different attachments onto it. So I'll go ahead, we'll bust the, uh, I'll bust the kit out, and I'll show you some of the other cool stuff you can do with it. So this actually has all kinds of different heads you can attach. Uh, so it'll convert from a, uh, let's see, let me get around here because I can't see nothing back there. All right, so you can do number nine torch, you can do a 24 torch, um, and a 17. It has additional flexible attachments, so you can actually connect these together. So you get a much longer reach into something, and then both of these are flexible. You can move them, shape them, whichever way you need to go with it. Uh, there's a pencil style in here. It's a number 17 pencil style. So you can do straight, if you, you can go straight into an object if you need to. We've got a little micro torch attachment in here. Micro torch, no back cap, everything comes in with the collet. And then you get all this cool stuff with it. You can pick these up at uh, air gas. You've got different size diffusers for your 17s, collet bodies, uh, pretty much everything you need to make any type of torch. So instead of going out and buying six different specialty torches, I think this thing has like 50, more than 50 different combinations where you can, this is everything you get with it. It's a modular head. Uh, there's like 50 different combinations or more that you can actually put together with this thing. So it's actually pretty cool. You got different back caps. You can go to a, uh, run it with a valve or you can do, you can run it on high frequency. This one's the, uh, the gas kit. So it's gas cooled, but uh, they make it in a, a water cooled. It also comes with, uh, you get some tungsten with it. I believe it's the E3 tungsten. That's pretty much all we use in the shop. You got E3 tungsten, all your consumables, different head attachments. It's just a pretty cool system altogether. All right, so last but not least, sometimes you just can't buy the tool that you need. You have to fabricate it. So here's a couple of the ideas we came out with. Camera Guy will put a link in the description, or actually a card up here, link into the, the, uh, the videos where we built all these. So if you haven't seen these videos yet, you can go check those out. But I'm kind of running out of ideas here. Uh, I've got a few more up my sleeve, but we want to reach out to you guys and get some of your help. So if you have a cool tool idea that will you fabricate the tool from nothing or you modify an existing tool to meet your needs as a welder, fabricator, iron worker, pipeliner, uh, we'd love to hear your ideas. So if you go to www.weld.com slash tools, uh, submit your ideas there. You'll be able to put a photo up there, uh, give us a little synopsis of what it is, exactly how to use it, the benefits of it, uh, just, you know, something like that. And if we pick your idea, we'll go ahead, we'll give you credit for it on the show, as well as send you a weld.com gift package as a token of our appreciation. And then you can help out the welding community as a whole. So you're not just showing one or two people at work, you know, you're exposing it to a wider audience. So we definitely appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I look forward to presenting the new equipment that we're gonna be getting in here. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notified. Until next time, make your weld better than your last.